Two games and two wins for the Arkansas Razorbacks, but tonight will be their toughest opponent yet as they welcome in the 2-0 Fresno State Bulldogs to Fayetteville. Running the point. Hi, everyone. Down low. A quick turnaround. Hook shot goes down for Terrell Carter. Pressure defense. Coach Ter Carter in the air. Touch pass to the outside. And a quick hook shot down underneath goes down for Williams. This is somebody they're really... So long. Alters so many shots. It's really hard to score on him down there. How about that three from Jalen Barford? There he is, Jalen Barford. Doesn't take long for him to fill it up. Walton Arena. Here he is again. Step back. Got it. Jalen Barford can just score in so many ways. You saw him in the previous play come off the screen for the three. It's amazing. They have four guys averaging 15 or more. You don't see that in a lot of teams in NCAA. You know, a lot of teams have one and two guys that really down low to Williams and taken away. Barford got a hand to it. Fast break, three on one. Gafford inside. Nice no look pass by Jalen Barford. Looking for Gafford down low. Good move at the bucket to get by Carter. Eight of 18, by the way. He shows it again here. Beard finds his opening. Lays it up and in. Put some spin on that one off the top of the glass. Big. Barford exploring the options, and Beard somehow left open on the wing. Plenty of time to spot up as he looked at Grimes afterward. And Tom Beard is feeling it right now. The Razorbacks are feeling it, and so is this crowd in Bud Walton Arena as the Razorbacks have pushed through a line. To the rack, there's a high percentage shot that goes down for Deshaun Taylor. Team's leading score, it's 17 a game. Fresno State making the adjustment. They see the threes aren't falling right now. They're just attacking the basket, trying to get easy layups. Barford stepping back. The crowd says it all. Very similar look to how Barford, he's been in there a lot. Arkansas. Arkansas has just done a good job of keeping a close eye on him. And that's the thing you get with 3-0. Oh, and uh, up and over the top of Daniel Gaffer, can you let me finish my thought before you dunk it? Gee. Anyway, another thing with threes is... Drives all the way in in the smooth finger nice roll. Nice take by Hopkins. Stayed calm. Attacked the basket. Easy layup. Here's Jones with an opening. Tell you one of those, CJ Jones is one of those guys that if he gets hot, really he can fill it up. A new level this year. Taken away. Hall. Might see some showtime here, folks. Oh. Taylor on the other end. That guy can shoot it. You see Fresno State still calm. Got the rebound. Came down and capitalized on the missed dunk by the Razorbacks. Second three for Jamel Taylor on his second attempt. He's 11 of 18 on the season from long range. Gafford going to work. It's a big time move by Gafford. High Faced arcing up. three <laughs> off the mark this time. He is human. Pushing the issue is Jones. All the way in. They left the lane open trying to account for the men outside. A little bit slow out of the gate. Trailed 6-0, but they got it together and in a hurry thanks to plays like that. Razorbacks leading at halftime. High character individual. Knows the importance of athletics but knows the importance of academics as well. How about knowing the importance of a second chance? Macon drops in the three after the offensive board. Can't leave him that wide open. If you do, put three points on the board. Neither team great from outside shooting, but Arkansas hits their 4-3, and there's Williams again. Starting to sound like a broken record. Williams. Barford poked away from behind by Ray Bowles Jr. Trying to scoot it up to him, and it was all he could do just to throw it back in bounds. And inside, Anton Beard. That Beard with a nice little sliver move to the baseline for the layup. Made it to the NIT. You see Fresno State is just stringing along postseason appearances. Something you've got to be happy with. Here's Gafford. Daryl really Macon stood out in the first half, but loses the handle here. 
They'll push. There's the sharpshooter, Taylor. Even his misses look like they're going in. He, he just can really shoot the ball. Nice cut by Jones right there. How about That's that fall away? That's what he can do. He's one of those guys that if you give him a centimeter of space, he's going to shoot the ball, and the ball's going to go in. And a five-second call. Bittner couldn't get it inbound. Well, he made and it Arkansas. first two of the night. Now he's missed three straight. Looking for Gafford again. That's an easy one. That's a nice setup by Daniel Gafford. Sealed off the man. 94-foot team, but we've just got to stick to our game plan, and defend, and stick to that strategy. Here's a three by Taylor. Maybe that'll... Just over 92 points through their first two. Barford inside. Had it blocked, but stays with it. And Gafford is there again. <laughs> Jalen just kind of threw that one up at the rim because the shot clock was going down, but what do you know? Who came up with it? Taylor. And then another block by Daniel Gafford. This kid is fun to watch, man. Wow. Fresno State has numbers. Taylor's going to spot it up for three himself and knock it down. He's finding his shot. He's finding his rhythm right now. So only shooting 28% from three. Fresno State only shooting 27% from three. Not the game we expected. I think we'll count that as a dunk as well. That man is long, and he's ready to play some basketball. Just a freshman, but you would never know. He's in another world right now. He was emotionless after that dunk. He's in the zone right now. And look, he's got this crowd into it. Taylor trying to stay in the zone. Off the mark. Guess who? Gafford. And a foul from... He's two off of his career high. He's had 15 or more now in all three games. And guess who? That dude right there can play some basketball. <laughs> He's just going in there. If he gets anywhere under the rim, he's dunking the ball. See 17 made. Alter that shot and cause the miss. Uh oh! How many dunks is that in a row? That's like four or five dunks in a row. Man, he's really getting this crowd into it right now. And as you can see in here, the crowd's not tired of it yet. This, I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> He's a freshman? He's a freshman? How old is he? And they're getting the crowd pumped up to it right now. That wasn't a quick reaction a squad either. That was battles, a... But we're getting that treat tonight. Nice pass inside. And Barford on the receiving end. Those are Mark Few. Those are elite names as well. He's in good company. And he's the first to do it at three different schools. So it's one thing to establish something at a school and then carry it on for a couple of decades. But for him to come in and build programs up time and time again. And he definitely try his winning travels. You see Williams again. He's just doing everything he can to try to help his team come back. It's a new career high for Bryson Williams, the sophomore. Thompson inside. And the foul. Deshaun Taylor, team's leading scorer, has come alive in this second half. Here's Jamel Taylor, his third three. Think about a quick it. timeout scoring, by Rod. But he's getting it in the flow of the offense. He's not pressing. He's not trying to do anything he, he can't do. He's just going in there and letting the game come to him. Anton Beard making the most of the free throw opportunities. Taylor has it blocked by Bailey. Good defensive play by Adriel Bailey. Uh oh, we might see something right here. Lob yes, up. we do. And the finish for Adriel Bailey, the sophomore. Another dunk. I mean, this is just dunkville over here. Jamel Taylor. Three balls. A nice shot. Quick. Right back at you. Sweet from the free throw line. Dale Megan does not miss very many free throws. Well, we expected a high-tempo, high-energy game, and that's exactly what we got. And Arkansas moves to 3-0, and Manny, without a doubt,